morning y'all here with the piggies with the hogs and uh we're uh it's a hot one here today uh this is our other farm so it's about 30 uh, minutes away from uh, Cape Sable Island where we are where our home base is um, and this is a huge pasture that uh, we utilize with my dad um, we have two beef cows in the pasture next door and then I have a meat tractor a meat hen tractor which I move around and then we uh, daily and then we have nine hogs on the ground and we sell those to family and friends and uh, anyway I just thought I'd introduce you to the piggies so right now I am loading up for feed um, and that looks like 50 pound feed bags I divide it into a couple buckets so that's manageable for me to heave it into that great big feeder there which you can see they're eating off to the side <laughs> you can see they're eating off to the side um, and that's because I've given them a distraction uh, bucket uh, in order so that they stay away from the fleshy meat of my ankles. Um, they're very friendly, but they are pigs and you know, they, they do want to investigate and are curious and everything like that. So anyway, it is uh, basically feeding time. So I am dividing up these and managing it, to, uh, managing to put it into those, that great big feeder there, which my dad built and it's fabulous. It allows them to push on it on, so it's feed on demand, it wastes nothing. I can put up to three, uh, actually five bags of feed in it at a time, but I usually don't do that. I usually do two or three um, at this point where they are right now in their uh, growth pattern. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you can uh, come along with me as I do that. Um, so you will see, basically, oh, we've got an electric fence that goes the whole way around their paddock. Um, this was all pasture, not a while, not too long ago. So up into here. Oh, you can see in there. So there. Yeah. So we're going to patent this feeder. <laughs> my dad, uh, my dad, uh, built it on skids so that they can't move it. And uh, like I mentioned, oh, where were you sleeping that you got a great big dent in you? Oh. You're sleeping on a log or something. It's got a great big dent in them. Um, anyway, yes, <laughs> you can see they are very friendly, too friendly, aren't you? Too friendly, huh? Yeah. Um, and like I mentioned, they uh, are very curious. So they like to look at the <laughs> meaty flesh of your ankles. This is my favorite. So well, I call her old Joe. Off little women. Yeah, you're my favorite, aren't you? Yeah, you're, you're my favorite. Yes. Anyway, so um, basically we have an electric fence that runs along the edge of this pasture. And uh, you'll see there runs the whole way along and uh, is run by a, a fencer. So I'm gonna go back and get some more feed. So feed's all done. They're eating, they're about four months old right now. So they are a Yorkshire, Berkshire cross. Um, we get our piglets from uh, Anthony Williams, um, a friend of ours, and he breeds beautiful pigs that are well handled, well mannered for the most part. <laughs> and uh, uh, we've never had a problem with them. So in the uh, six years that I've been raising pigs uh, from Anthony, I've never had any problems with those. So um, like I mentioned, they're eating uh, maritime hog and so sow grower. Um, they're about four months old now. So they're going through roughly at least a bag and a half a day, um, if not a little more right now. So they're kind of on the cusp of that. Um, we want to get them to 250 pounds before butchering. And uh, I usually when I come in the mornings, I start, we have them on a nipple waterer. So it runs from our pump over. <laughs> And they are very muddy right now. <laughs> you can see that they are enjoying the water. I turned the water on when I came. And uh, that basically I let them, uh, so they always have water, sorry. But what I do is I let them have a water hole. So we've rigged up two hoses and one runs a water hose so that they can have a mud hole. And they just love that. 
They live their best life in the mud hole. It keeps them from getting sunburned. And they are just loving that nice cold water running and where they can get a nice mud bath. So, so what I'll do is I will go and feed the meat chickens and then I will um, uh, come back and turn that off so that they have a nice hole to uh, be in all day. So basically um, we have a water, a uh, nipple waterer, I had mentioned that. So every day when I come, I check that, make sure it's working, obviously it is. Um, and I go along the fence line and I make sure that there are no, <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> there are no shorts or there are no, um, <laughs> Oh, pigs, I tell you, they're, they're quite the cards. Um, I make sure that there are no shorts and that there are no, nothing like, you know, they haven't rooted something on top of the wires that's going to cause them to uh, short out. But I will say that pigs are amazingly well-trained on electric fence. So they are able... Ah! Oh, you guys, look at this. They got me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh goodness, I've created quite a frenzy here. Uh, I will say that they are amazingly um, well trained at being on the fence line. They um, very rarely, this fence line could be off for about 48 hours before they would even cross it. So that's good. There we go. So yeah, so they are able to uh, have a nice mud bath and uh, they'll be happy with that. That will take them for the rest of the day. And uh, we have them in a, ooh, 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 easy. <laughs> they are wound up. We have them in a trailer for a shelter and I do that for two reasons, an old horse trailer. Um, I do that for two reasons. I do that one, it is a nice, cheap, effective structure and pigs will rim rack any structure. They're very hard. I, I, they are very hard on structures, so they will, um, they will definitely, um, they will definitely uh, rim rack any structure that you put them in. So you want to make sure that whatever you have, uh, because they root and they tear around and you can see they're like almost, well, some of them, this is our runt right here, but some of them are getting to be close to be 200 pounds. And so you figure there's 1600 pounds running in and out and in and out all the time. And, um, you know, that can be uh, quite, quite uh, bothersome. Uh, for any structure. So we have an old horse trailer that we use. I fill it with straw. They nest in there. They burrow down on rainy days. It's really quite cute that they all get in there. Very lovely. Um, the other thing that I, why I use a horse trailer is um, to minimize stress on butchering day. They're already used to the trailer. So when I haul up with the trailer um, on butchering day, it's very important to me that they have a very low stress last day. Okay, so this is part of being an ethical meat eater. I wanna know where my food comes from. I wanna be able to raise my own food. And I also wanna make sure that they are having the very best life, very best life they can right up until the last day. So I hope you enjoyed our, my video on uh, just sort of an intro to our pigs and how we raise our pigs um, here at Yellow Brick Road Farm. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And oh, I gotta tell you that this video was shot on my new iPhone um, because I lost my last one off the back of a horse trailer, um, taking the sheep to be sheared. And uh, anyway, uh, Wilson's, uh, Esther and Tate fixed me all up. So I was so happy uh, to, uh, be fixed up with them uh, this morning. They hooked me up with a new phone and actually we even got hooked up with uh, high speed internet, uh, fiber optic internet, and uh, that's gonna be a nice treat as well. So I just uh, wanna give them a little shout out for all their courteous service and uh, their fans they of the, of the uh, farm and uh, of videos. So I just definitely want to say, keep on gardening, Esther and uh, Olivia, Tate's daughter. And uh, I'm so super glad that uh, you guys found uh, our videos and our uh you know info uh informational and that was of use to you so anyway everybody i hope you have a great day it's a hot one go enjoy